It's been a year since we started Top Gear India, back in 2020. One of the most difficult times in human history. And ever since then, the world has become virtual, including the Top Gear India Awards 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the awards. Straight away, let's start from Design of the Year, which goes to the iconic Mahindra car. Now, you'll agree with me, we are yet to come across any individual who doesn't agree with the Thar's design language. It's iconic. Ever since it launched, it's been making news and Thar bags the award for Design of the Year. Let's move on to the Performance Car of the Year. Audi RS7 Sportback is a wholesome package. It's a five seater bench which can go from 0 to 100 in 3.6 seconds. It's like a sleeper cell which can go mental. Up next, is the exhaust note of the year. Now, this is not a very important award, but for all petrolers out there, it is very, very important because if an exhaust note is very nice, it's a musical symphony to your ears. You want to hear? See. So Lamborghini Huracan Evo RWD bags the award for the exhaust note of the year. There is no denying it. Lamborghini machines are built to really make music to your ears and that's what it's done. Move on, let's move on. Roshan will continue with the next set of awards and over to Roshan. Maybe you don't want to hear what I have to say after listening to that gorgeous V10, but the show must go on. What I have next is the mid-size sedan of the year and it's none other than the all-new Honda City, which combines stylishness, practicality, and gives precedence to those backseat passengers in the sedan category. And at the other end, we have the premium mid-size SUV of the year. It's one thing to actually get a car in the top 10 in India, but it's another thing completely to get a premium SUV in the top 10 in India. And our winner of the premium mid-size SUV of the year is the Hyundai Creta. I must say, it's a perfect balance of practicality, road presence and features. And the sales speak for it. And at the other end of the premium mid-size SUV is the luxury full-size SUVs, which is the CEO's high set chair. And that combines opulence and space at its very best. The winner this year is the all-new Mercedes GLS. takes the cake this year and on that note there's another category that the Mercedes is winning at is the connected tech car of the year so connected tech is the most used feature in our modern day cars and the Mercedes MBUX does that in a very beautiful fashion with multiple uh, ways of using this to buy a touch screen or via physical controls and that's why it wins the test over to you Whipple uh, for the next category Greetings folks, we are celebrating the best of the best of 2020 and we've got a very interesting bunch of cars here. Now you must be wondering what is the Top Gear team doing with these cars here and why aren't we on the racetrack, right? But trust me, the grass is always greener on the other side and this is green enough for me. Anyways, moving on, what we have here is our pick of the luxury mid-size SUV, the BMW X1. And the reason being, this delivers the benefits of an SUV while also delivering great driving dynamics and that is always a great benefit. Talking about SUVs, compact SUVs have made headlines in India ever since the segment was started. But last year, we saw the Nissan Magnite enter it. It brought an amazing proposition to the table and a lot of customers are now looking at the segment all because of this. The Nissan Magnite is our compact SUV of the year. All right, it's time for the performance SUV of the year. The RS7 won the performance car of the year and its bigger sibling, the RS Q8, has backed this title. And well, it is much deserving. It is crazy fast. It's got some crazy lap times at the Nürburgring and it looks the part as well. The performance SUV of the year is the Audi RS Q8. The Carnival is our MPV of the year as it ticks all the right boxes. It is big on space, has a horde of features and is dependable as nails. No other MPV comes close, so it is the Carnival that wears the MPV of the year crown. 
Now at the heart of every car is the engine and that brings us to the Engine of the Year Award. Now if you're wondering what am I doing standing next to a VW Allspace, it is because the engine down here is the winner. It is the VW 2 liter TSI and it wins amongst the RSs and the Lambos because it is one of the most potent engines out there but it also won't break your bank. It is a very very dependable engine and one that will give you a lot of fun. The engine of the year is the 2 liter TSI. Now we at Top Gear obviously love our four wheelers but nothing beats the excitement of two wheels. The thrill that they offer, the involvement that they offer is something that we really appreciate and that brings us to the awards for two wheelers. Starting from the scooter of the year and our pick is of course the Aprilia SXR 160. Now there is nothing out there that offers this kind of design and performance. It is a very premium offering from Aprilia and it is definitely a head turner out there. Now, in stark contrast to this modern and very appealing design is this. The Honda that takes inspiration from the yesteryears. This is the Highness CB350. This is our pick of the motorcycles up to 350cc. What this brings is great competition to one of the bikes that we have there, the Royal Enfield Meteor. But this one has better internals, a very nice and slick gearbox and good finish. This is definitely a bike that you should consider if you are in this segment. Then what we have here is motorcycles up to 160cc. We have the Honda yet again with the X plate. Now this is a revamped Hornet, but it's all new even under the skin. And again, smooth engine, very good gearbox. Buyers out there who are looking for motorcycles up to 160cc, this is definitely a bike that you should consider. The Honda X plate, our pick from the motorcycles up to 160cc. Now the rest of the motorcycles are definitely there, but Jay will be taking over. Now one of the more exciting two-wheelers we have today is the Aether 450X. It is our electric two-wheeler of the year and with good reason. It is very, very practical. You can use it on a daily basis and it definitely has the looks. It does turn heads and that warp mode is something you have to experience. Moving on, we have the motorcycle of the year up to 250cc and that is the KTM 250 Adventure. Why? Because it gets you that adventure styling, it gets you the comfort and it gets you that go anywhere capability as well. It is a segment that is hotting up really fast and the Adventure 250 definitely fits the bill. Now behind me is something that is really bonkers. The BMW R18 is the daddy of cruisers. It is our cruiser of the year. And I mean, do I need to say more? Because just look at this thing. The engine is sticking out. The tank is massive. That analog dial, it all works flawlessly. It is something you definitely can't miss. And there is no better alternative out there. This one had to have that award. Now behind that is the Royal Enfield 350. The Meteor, the new one, the latest one. And why is it here is something Ramesh will tell you in just a bit. Now for the big one. Bike of the year. Royal Enfield Meteor 350 deserves all the applause. It's a very practical bike. It's a adept cruiser, looks very good, turns the head around, rides very planted on the road. It's not priced astronomically high. At the same time, it's got all the power and deserves all, all the bells and whistles to be bike of the year. Now let's move on to the next one, the big one, car of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Car of the Year. Hyundai Creta, one of the top selling SUVs. It's been a top selling SUV for a while now. Still has a big waiting period. It's a city SUV. It's an SUV which you can also take for a mile off-roading. Very comfortable, price right. It's got probably everything that you look for a car in the segment that it is in. The design has really grown on people. It got a lot of votes from everybody when we had the voting session. All the jury had also you know, I must be voted for it and it deserved and backed the most prestigious car of the year, Top Gear India 2021. Now, it's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the show. This was a virtual event. We couldn't do what we normally do, but next year it will be awards as usual. We'll have a big event. Hopefully, that is when everything is normal. And for that, until then, you stay good, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments below what you think of every winner's. Under the next one, take care.